We started now. We started now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Morning. Welcome to Ian Robinson's Cabinetry and Joinery, and welcome to another project. So we're going to build a beautiful conservatory with uh, polycarbonate roofing to it, uh, just for ease and lightweight as well, so the glass isn't really heavy, so we don't have to have that, all that heavy construction going on. As I said before, this is the original conservatory, and that is pretty rotten, to be fair, and really does need replacing, as you can see down here. That is absolutely gone. So that is the bit that we're going to put. Hello, Dougal. That is the bit we're going to put a, a, a set of bricks on the bottom there and then have our door sit on top of the bricks so that doesn't ever have happen again. Um, also, it's going to be Sapili, and I have no idea what that is. It looks like it could be Sapili, to be fair, but I don't know. Um, these seals are going to be Sapili as well. And we're going to do double door French doors here and they're going to be on Parliament hinges so we can open them right up. Uh, the Parliament hinges will be secured uh, via uh, a different method. Um, and then all this is getting ripped out, basically all of it here is getting ripped out. Uh, there's an awful roof on the top, that's all coming off and the tiles will probably come off there for the moment until we get um, get it all sealed and everything but none of this is coming out yet until we've manufactured all the frames and all the doors and everything probably put my ear defenders on I can't be up. you are so i should probably put my ear defenders on but i can't be sorry up. i can't hear <laughs> so we are i don't know if you can see this from there i i hope so um but we are constructing the the roof so we have a 10 degree pitch this is not accurate to the 10 degree pitch, it's actually lower than that, but it doesn't matter. This is just for our reference and to show you guys um, that we're going to be using a 140 millimeter uh, wide plank for the top. Some C22 down there for the front top rail that we're going to scarf joint. So we've just got to work out the size for that. This construction is very, very similar to the construction we've done on the greenhouse. The last greenhouse we've done. The yeah. last greenhouse that we've done. This construction is, in my opinion, perfect. It's really good in the fact that you can get everything in the right place just by slotting your rafters into this front piece here, for example. So you will have cutouts. It's a little bit more work. It's not like, yeah, we'll cut that angle there and bang it in with nails. As cabinet makers, me and Matt, I find it kind of find that hard to swallow I can't kind of find nails hard to swallow maybe it's because they're made of steel but <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a serious side I, I'm, I'm, I struggle with using nails is what I'm saying I'm more of a joiner so we everything we do is there to last pr pretty much forever as far as I'm concerned so everything we construct is always got a very strong longevity behind it so that's what we do in it so anything and everything is jointed it's screwed it's bolted and um, it is basically overbuilt um, but no it's not for good reason it's, it's not overbuilt it's just done right no oh, fair dues it's done right well it is done right you're right now this is a rough sketch of what we're doing so that'll give you a little bit of an idea hopefully and um yeah so we've got 11 rafters going throughout the top we've got a back plate to the to the house itself well it's actually a bungalow so we're taking the um we're taking the existing guttering off the back plate here which is already on there it's on existing as i say that's coming off so the roof overhangs this um there'll be uh, lead uh, on on the top there and what will happen is all the water will run down over onto this roof and onto a guttering that we're putting on on the front here. It's going to have double doored French doors. It's going to have all the sills made and, and the bottom sill here. All, all the sills will be made of uh, Sapili. So again, longevity. Apart from that, 
it's going to be pretty straightforward, like I said. So, you know, straightforward because of the way the construction's made and how we're going to make it. And then we're going to, uh, we've got anthracite grey uh, uh, rafter clips, which we're using on this project. A bit different on this project to the greenhouse in that respect, because we're using polycarbonate uh, sheet material. We are using four by two rafters, and then we're putting the clip which runs the full length of the rafter on top of the uh, four by two. And that will be screwed down and then your polycarbonate sheet goes in between that and then you put a clip that goes on top of that and you compress that down nice and tight and it doesn't come off. Um, and then you put a front seal on the front of the polycarbonate and a front cap on the ends and then your gutter ring goes on that and then all the water flows into the gutter ring and away that everything will slot together as it should and then all we've got to do is a little bit of tweaking here and there to slot it in perfectly and it does work and it's a good system so anyway that's that so let's get on with it shall we Matt let's get down to business let's get down let's get down to business <laughs> oh yeah so what we're doing now is doing the half flat joints like that can you see that so the way we've done that is with the rail saw. Are you alright, Yeah, I've got itchy nuts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're on video, Bob. What are you after? <laughs> Pull saw. <laughs> Pull saw. Okay. Uh, that being in there. Thanks, mate. And you. I'm, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Okay, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy the man glitter. What? <laughs> Enjoy the man glitter. <laughs> We're doing half flat joints, right? So it's like uh, trenching out uh, the, the bottoms of the rails. So we haven't done the window sills yet, because that's all sapeely, so we're gonna do a lot of that tomorrow morning, when the wood arrives. And um, today though, we're just concentrating on these trenching out of the pieces. So that means that the styles, or the uprights, if you like, will go in, sit in them, trenches like thus, like that, and then get screwed in from underneath. And then they go on top of the sill and get screwed down to the seal. And uh, then the top bar or frame goes on top of that and then gets screwed to that. So it's all a case of, yeah, all a case of a bit of a jigsaw and it all goes together nicely. What Matt's doing outside is uh, he's doing the scarf joint. So uh, there's a massive length of 6,370 mil long piece of rail going all the way through the building um, and that will need scarf jointing because you can't get lengths at that length so scarf joint will do that job so that'll be a nice solid scarf joint all the way through the rail um, so he's doing that i've done the last one he's now doing this one for the windows so we're using 20 mil double glazing units so and 15 mil beads so we've got to go back 35 mil on the wood and because we're using 15 mil we come down 15 mil so that's what these are all about as well so they're down in there 15 mil okay so that's these are for, these are for the style the uprights this is the base frame that sits on top of the windowsill, which is uh, made of Iroco. So that will sit on there. The, these uprights will get screwed from underneath, and then you'll have a big base top rail that goes across, and then you'll have all your rafters hang out into that top rail. Matt's just uh, rebating on the machine here. So getting that done. Lovely old job. <laughs> Did it turn me on? Oh no, not that lovely.
doors and window frames now. Matt's doing the sill. Oh, look at that. Matt's doing the sill. Oh, so he's putting, a, putting an angle on it. So there's the sill. Lovely old job. We've not really done a lot of video on this one because it's it's been very busy at the moment. But we have got. No, we've just forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we've got here is all the rafters. We've got the door frame there. We've got the, uh, the door sill all made up and painted. And we've got the sills for the wall, for the wall plates basically for, uh, there. Uh, they're all painted and finished all round. So, no water will get in to that sapili. It's good hardcore stuff. And that shows it's good hardcore stuff because everything was rotten out there except the Sapili sills. So it shows from a 1930s building that that uh, conservatory was probably there for oof, 1970s, I would have thought. Um, but the Sapili sills have lasted that long, um, and even without. <laughs> even with a lack of painting on them. Moving forward, they're going on to the walls. Um, now we did uh, demolish the, the conservatory, didn't we? Yeah. And we're, I'll tell you what, we'll go out and show you. So, so yesterday's um, project was demolishing the old conservatory. Um, we didn't show you that, there's no need really. I mean, it's, it's what it is, but we can show you what we've got so far and we'll probably have to come back a bit i don't know uh, but that's that's what we've got so far oh so here we are again and it's a bloody warm day today 29 degrees apparently is it uh, yep yeah. and it was 29 degrees yesterday and when that sun is out it really is isn't it yeah. so it's uh, it's really warm but anyway, I want to show you this. Uh, we have, what, to say. what have we started on? The erection. Okay, so we're starting on the erection. So here it is. So I've done all the brickwork yesterday, as you know. So all that brickwork's done. The sills are bedded in and they were bedded in last night. That was the last thing we done. So they're bedded on, a, uh, on cement. This side had to go slightly thicker with cement because the build has dropped over the years so that side was uh, quite a lot lower that's about 15 mil lower than this side so we had to get that right and then uh, by getting that right we could do all of our upright frames exactly the same all the way through so that's what we've done um, so that is it so at the moment we're putting these the front frame on and then we're going to progress onto the rafters and getting those angles right. So at the moment we know that that angle of the dangle is nine degrees pitch on the roof. Once we get the rafters on, we can then start thinking about poly polycarbonate roofing and uh, getting the metal brackets on, getting them done. Yeah, so it's coming along. So lots to do still, obviously. This is just the basic frame going up. There is a lot more to do. So, yeah, doors, Iroco doors coming as well. So yes, this is a, this is just progress. Yeah, and that's it. That's all I can say at the moment. That's it's a very hot day, and um, God, I think we're going to be uh, showering, showering with the hose in a minute, <laughs> like we did yesterday. <laughs> you, which you didn't see on camera, of course, but we uh, we did have a shower, didn't well, we? We ended up having a water fight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it a fight. I'd call that a pleasant one, actually. <laughs> no, there's no need to get a bit of oh, romance about yeah. it. <laughs> Broke back mountain. <laughs> but no, no, it's, it's all good stuff. So we could. That was lovely. That was really refreshing. <laughs> I have to say that was absolutely refreshing. Twenty nine degrees and that being hosed down was lovely. <laughs> cutting the rafters out now so the rafters are going in we're going to show you what we've done we've got the door frame in we made that we put that in that's all all basically screwed in isn't it matthew it is ian <laughs> and um so what we've done here is we're, we're doing the back rafters for the back wall plate 
So we've got to cut them out, kind of a bird's mouth, but it isn't. It's not a bird's mouth like that, actually. So it isn't a bird's mouth. What it is, is a joint that uh, we've got 95 mil wood here, and we've got 70 mil wall plate that's screwed to the fascia board of the house. Now we've got to get these cut to that 70, 70 mil. So all we're going to be left with is 25 mil on top of the rafter, which will be then screwed to the back plate. face plate or the back plate. And that'll be screwed, done, finished. So what we've done here, we've, we've, we're going at nine degrees. That's what the pitch of the roof is. We found, we found out what the pitch of the roof is. It's nine degrees. And when we cut with one of our festal rail saws, um, I have the Big Beast now, we, we, I've invested in the Bigger Beast, bigger beast the uh, HK85EB, if you want to view that, it's on YouTube. Um, I've also got the, the uh, smaller Kitty, which is a TS55 uh, REBQ, um, but that baby, that little one, couldn't do what I'm doing right now, because it can't get cut, cut depth. Uh, the depth of the cut on the um, on the smaller one is 55 mil, 55. Uh, maximum. That's without rail. If you put it on the rail, you got 50 mil cut, maximum. Put it on the rail on this, you've got a maximum of 80 mil cut depth on this, which is absolutely ideal for 100 mil rafters, and what we're doing here. So, problem with that, of course, these only go one way when you want to angle them so for example okay so you've got we want nine degrees okay that's a nine degree pitch and we've got nine degrees on there on this on these piece here the only problem is the saw only goes tilts one way only and the issue we have is as you can see here by this piece of wood supporting the rail is we can only go that way so underneath if we look underneath that's your end of your rail look. So that's, that's angled at nine degrees. So if we were to put that rail the, if we were to put this rail the other way, which I'll, so it rests on here, you won't get that angle uh, on the saw. So this is what we've had to do to get the angle. Okay, so that's it really for this part. They're all nine rafters. I've left them long. And what we're gonna do is get this cut first and then we'll slot these into the, the main beam that goes the whole length or whole width of the uh, building and we'll slot them in and find out where we need to cut them because we are running 40 mil out on the original building um, from oh, one end to the other yeah. which means that the one rafter at one end will be 40 mil longer than the, uh, the right hand one basically We've got to run these rafters gradually run them longer and longer and longer until we hit, hit 40 mil at the other end and there's well, 11 of them what we'll do is we'll, tie so we'll work it in, out then tie the other end in then tie a couple in in the middle so that we've got them all in place yeah and then work our way clamp through. clamp it yeah. and then we'll know exactly put a string line down on the top so we can see clearly where we've got to be with that main top beam all right, so because at the moment that's quite flexible because it hasn't got any rafters in. Got to show them. Yeah, that's what we've got done so far, and we've got the door frame in this morning, and now we're getting all the uh, rafters in. So it's looking really, really good. But unfortunately, when you're pulling down an original building to put our building on, there's always going to be problems when it comes to the original build. Because like I said, that's uh, on this side, it's 40 mil deeper than this side. And if we made this, it wouldn't be that way. But we didn't, so therefore we've got to uh, suck it up and carry on and make it, make it work, which is what we're doing. So, and also we've got to tie in this fascia here with our fascia that's coming across. So we've got to make sure that this is flush with our fascia, which it will be, because that's the idea of keeping these rafters long. Friday morning, and we are on the roof. Um, on the roof. 
we have got uh, the roof on there uh, let me turn you around there you go so there's the roof guys looking good uh, we're just putting the steels on um, for the polycarbonate tunnel uh, polycarbonate tunnel <laughs> You're getting confused with your carpal tunnel, mate. Carpal tunnel. <laughs> carpal tunnel syndrome, that's what I've got. Um, now, polycarbonate is going up, but before we do that, obviously, these steels get screwed to our rafters that we put up yesterday. Um, we've sealed all the rafters with cork, so no weather gets in. Um, I've foamed, put expanding foam around the edges where the door lining is, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're good to go. I mean, it's looking good at the moment. Uh, we'll do a bit of... Uh, cement work along that edge just under there as you can see just there so there'll be a little bit of cement work there um, just to finish that off give it a finish and um, yeah we're getting there getting there very very well it's really coming on I've put the weather sealing in the doors um, done that last night as a finish just in case it rained I didn't want the the grooves swelling up and then uh, finding the that they the weather seal would not go in the groove very well so i uh, had to have that done and put that in what are you doing today uh i'm on windows boat I'm so now awesome setting, setting up to do the uh, the rebates so we planed all the wood for the windows haven't we that'd yes. be all, all up there like that that's all the window stock that's all made out of hemlock and uh i am now on little fiddly bits really it's like like the tops of the window stops and things like that so uh, let me show you what we've done so far because it's quite interesting actually um, we managed to get the guttering done on Saturday this this weekend uh, so there's the guttering but we also I don't know when was the last time we've done any video actually um, I should have kept on with it but before we put the roof up I think before we put the roof up well there's the roof so the roof's in and up and running. So that's that's there. Amazing. We've also we've also done all the uh, like the window seals seals. Um, you know, like the weather strips, I should say. They're all in. Uh, door frames in, and weather si seals are in there. Guttering's up, like I said. Uh, the roof's on. Polycarbonate, 24 millimeter polycarbonate, which is absolutely amazing. Actually, even you'd think that 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 would really be hot in here, but it's actually not. It's not horrendous. Now we were toying with the idea of glass, but I'm glad we didn't go glass because that would be horrendously hot. And uh, this polycarbonate is yeah. really solid, isn't it? It is, and the UV. Oh, UV, UV. It is, isn't it? Yeah. UV protection on the uh, top side. Yeah. You must. I must say, um, if anyone's never done polycarbonate, uh, make sure that you put the UV side up and out of the glass, not 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 below, not 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 this side. Um, it has to be top side. Floor, also the floor, self-leveling floor, down, done. Lovely stuff. That is brilliant stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. Wouldn't I wouldn't I would I wouldn't know what to do without it. I tell you. That floor in here was absolutely dreadful. Up and down and bumpy as hell. And now look at it. Look at it now. Nice and flat. Self-leveling, brilliant stuff. So that's that's the uh, update so far, guys. So um, any questions, leave down below. I'm quite happy to uh, answer all your questions on um, how we made this and what, what we've done, um, you know, to help you DIYers out there because um, there's a lot to think about even down to the foam in between sandwiching the foam in between the uh, the glass to keep it totally and utterly weather sealed and that foam is like 30 mil wide so nothing's getting in there nothing and how much to overhang things like that any questions happy to answer them talk to you soon so finally the day has come Double glazing going in. <laughs> so this morning, I better not uh, hang around too long on this paint because I haven't got the beading in yet, but it is siliconed in. So what I do is use a silicon, which is not harmful to plastics or anything like that. It is a specialised silicon. Um, I'll put a link down below what the silicon is because um, it's quite important you use right silicon for the right job. 
So, double glazing is going in, that's siliconed in on the back plate of the, the door. And then we've got this lovely bead that we produced and cut these, cut these mitres on the guillotine. So all these are guill guillotined in, so you've got beautiful Iroco. Um, that, they're oiled as well, and we've got the painted bead as well, uh, which you can't see as yet. So before we put the bead on, we have to silicon, although I've siliconed the glass on, I've also got to silicon the bead on. So that's the next process. So we get a bead, good bead around all the top. Like so, all the way down in the corner of the glass so it doesn't spread everywhere, but it will spread well because there's a good, quite a thick, decent bead on it, so it will keep it all weather tight and weather sealed as well. Because I've gone to the painstaking effort of actually putting weather seal around the frame of the door, so I want to do the same for the window. I've kept the bead. There's the top, so there's the top bead. You squeeze that in, get that in there, and you'll get some, some that'll splodge out around the edges, but that's no problem. Now we get a fine pin gun, and all these fine pin gun is doing is, is pinning the bead in place, but as you can see, it doesn't make a, a big hole like uh, pin guns do. So the bead gun is giving saving me a lot of time and effort having to fill lots of holes. So there's 17 mil pins in this and they're very, very fine, I'll show them. That's what they are, they're very, very fine pins. And what they do, when the silicon goes off, they'll go rock hard or, or as it should, you know, that, that won't go rock hard silicon, sorry. Um, but it, what it does is it goes off and holds that all into place. And then as you can see there, it splodges out a little bit, so you just wipe it off. And job done. And that'll be there for pretty much ever. And uh, we put the longer bits in. So you'll note I was putting the shorter bits top and bottom in first, because they're the shorter bits. And then the long bits, I have to really um, they, they're quite tight is what I'm saying so you bend them in to the joint slightly and that gives a strong really nice tight joint on all the corners and let me show you so you've got all your nice tight joints in there you see and as you can see it just split splodges out a little bit but your nice tight joints so that has to be bent in which it was now that's all glued in with a silicon which grabs it quite quickly. So then I'll pin that side in and that's how I carry on until all the doors are done. Um, the glass is double glazing. Um, it's 24 mil by uh, 24 mil, basically toughened glass. Um, and that is gonna last forever. So yeah, looking good. everything up and running. Um, this has took, this project has took about five to six weeks so far, um, on and off. Uh, we've been doing projects for the customers in between that job as well. Uh, but finally we've got that round to finishing it off. We've got the floor down as you can see, lovely flooring, um, and that goes throughout the whole house. So we had to uh, tie in between the rooms, which was kind of, uh, a bit worrying whether it was going to tie up when, and when it all met up to the hallway, if that makes sense, because we were doing them here and then it all had to go into two rooms, the kitchen and um, the uh, dining room, uh, or the living room, and then it had to all meet up into the hall and by some miracle it did. <laughs> it was, it should do by rights, but you can never ever tell, um, but this this click and play kind of flooring, um, there's no real tolerance with it, so therefore it should, by rise, 
literally meet up when it comes to two different rooms and they're going that way, if that makes sense. Uh, as you can see, double glazing's gone in. Um, from the last section of the video, you can see the double glazing going in. Well, that's all in now, and that's all lovely. Uh, the panel work, as you can see down here and down there, the panel, panel work and the sill, uh, that wasn't there. Behind all this is brick brickwork here below this. So this was all sellotext with 40 millimeter sellotext and behind me, behind there is 40 millimeter sellotext as well. And that was all put into um, a two by two frame. So the two by two frame went on first and that was all bolted to the uh, brickwork. And then the sellotext went into that. And then uh, that, that went in really tight. So um, it made it really thermally efficient. Thermal efficiency is fantastic, so it has been, the, the temperature's really dropped lately and uh, we've got six degrees outside right now, uh, even though the sun's out, it's starting to warm up slowly, but it's only got to hit uh, 13, 14 degrees today. Uh, but in here, as you can see, I'm in my t-shirt and it is a lovely 19 degrees in here, a whole wealth of enjoyment and health to us as a family and to our plants as well so uh, yeah looking forward to winter now actually yeah the doors they work extremely well the iroco doors uh, they're beautiful uh, can't really complain about them they look fantastic they look gorgeous um, we have uh, yeah what, what can i say they, they just look beautiful um, and just looking around Oh, you see my uh, brewing going on. Uh, but that wall there, as you can see, that will be done, dot and down, to put dot and down, new wall on that. Uh, there's going to be new walls going through out the whole lot. So all of this internal wall, which was an external wall, will all be, uh, well, it's all going to be gone, basically. It's all going to be nice and flat, like an internal wall should be. So that's uh, so really looking great at the moment. And there's, there's the, the uh, going into the living room, and it's just opened that space up. Into the, to the living room, there we go. So that's opened that up dramatically. And there's the flooring, I must admit. Um, the flooring looks absolutely beautiful and seamless all, all throughout. And there's the hall, we go into the hall. So going in, ooh. Let me. Oh, God. Gimbal's a bit quick. <laughs> I must learn how to use a camera. <laughs> so that is that is it, really. So it is massively opened up the whole home fantastically. So where the TV is right now, there's going to be a log burner. Uh, sorry, a log holder there. Where the chimney breast is, that's all getting done um, this week at some point and it's all going to be plasterboarded plastered and um all all, all sorted out in there uh, fire boarding in the back and the sides and uh that's all going to get done very shortly uh, this week we're on monday so wednesday they're starting on that i'm not doing that because i've got too much going on and we've employed somebody a good friend of ours to do that for us um this wall here will have um like a panelling uh, effect. That wall's gonna have a panelling effect as well. The chimney breast is gonna be cleaned, clean as in as in just plastered and nice and clean flat. Um, the panelling will go with what we got out there. And like I said, we're gonna have a log uh, cabinet down there where the TV is and the TV will sit on top of that. And then we're gonna have a log burner in there, which is gonna be fantastic. And then here, we're going to have another sideboard, low sideboard type cabinet and like I said we're going to have panelled back wall there and possibly a couple of floating shelves as well so and all this will be plastered and all cleaned up oh looking forward to it absolutely looking forward to it so all of this room will be renovated completely renovated including the uh, archway here if you like that will be done as well. So yeah, there's lots to do still, 
but the main bulk of it is done and it's all firmly efficient from the outside elements which is fantastic and in here we've got the kitchen what, what I'm going to do is have a 900 mil wooden worktop meet and tie in with the kitchen worktop there as you can see it and that's going to come out cover these appliances and we're going to have a set of drawers at the end and then the wooden worktop going over the top with a side panel at this end and it'll just tie that in absolutely gorgeously so we're really looking forward to that um, yeah cool beans looking forward to all the finished work really there's a lot to do but yeah it's going to be, going to be great so just a little progress report on what's going on so far um, so we've still got the cabinetry to do around here um, don't worry about the brewery uh, I've got a hangover this morning but <laughs> no, I'm joking um, a cheap 50p a bottle that is but anyway uh, let's not get off subject so all the dot and dabs being done as you can see so that's good that's all good stuff um, it's all getting taped up and then it gets filled around the edges so this is this this here has um, reinforced steel tape that goes on there, which is quite clever. And then the fire surround is all done. Got lime mortar that was put in yesterday. That's all going off very quickly. And uh, you'll probably hear a noise in the background. That's a dehumidifier. Trying to get everything dry in the air. So we've had the uh, ceiling plastered, walls plastered, and that wall plastered on Saturday. Um, that had all the wood chip on that's looking awful and cracked and everything so that'll get uh, plastered and I don't know if you remember but these uh, there's a cupboard here uh, we took or I took that out with Matt uh, my buddy Matt he helped me out with that and uh, we're plasterboarding dot and dabbing all over the place really um, the reason for that is because we want to add a six mil frame going around that to um, coincide with the wall panelling we've got on the back wall there. So that would be panelling there, panelling there, and that kept fresh and clean. And that would be a different colour as well. So we'll have white, a very light grey, white, and then we're going to have a cabinet down here and a cabinet across there, which I will make presently um or very shortly i'll be making that today and then uh around here next to that dishwasher will be a uh, base cabinet and a side panel and then a worktop going all the way through and tied into the main kitchen worktop there so that'll be tied into this one here and sanded glued uh, biscuit is and glued and tied in and clamped Yes, so lots to do still, but it is coming on. We've got a lot of painting to do, by the way. Huge amount of painting. So, <laughs> not looking forward to that one. But there you go. Skirting as well, got to go on. So, I've done skirting in the hall. Um, I don't know whether you can see it from here, the skirting in the hall there. So, that's all done. All ready for caulking. I won't cork it until it's painted. Well, no, we will cork it before it's painted, sorry. That's a bit daft. Um, so that'll be corked shortly. All the flooring tied in beautifully. No, no uh, pieces like this going on, which is uh, the threshold. We've managed to keep it flat all the way through the house, which is nice. So that works well. Can't wait to get back to normality actually but yeah that's the progress so far well good morning and um, we are here yet again for the final look at what we've achieved in the house um, it is morning I'm a bit blurry eyed but it's a beautiful morning this morning um, so what we do we'll, we'll take you around the house and show you what we've done um, it's been a bit of an ongoing project, I must say, uh, but it has been great. It's been really enjoyable. So that's the conservatory, as you know, already done, all finished and um, all built. 
and looking rather splendid, I might add. And also, we've had a lot of rain, a lot of wind, a lot of cold, a lot of heat, a lot of everything, and everything works as it should. And uh, plenty of coats of oil on the Iroco doors. Um, that's had about five, five coats of, uh, of uh, oil on those. Um, so that'll do for winter, for sure. Um, obviously the floor's down. That was a bit of a head headache putting the floor down, to be honest. Some, pe some pieces wanted to click together really well. Some pieces didn't. It's not the best flooring in the world to, uh, to, to lay, but we, we managed it in the end. Um, sorry about the messy fireplace. We had the fire on last night. It was lovely. Um, it, we didn't have any fire on in here. Yesterday, it was 18 degrees. And it felt a little bit chilly, so we put the uh, the fire on, and it soon shot up to 23 and a half degrees in here last night. So, and it was 12 degrees outside. So, there you go. Shows wood burners really do keep you toasty roasty. Um, and as you can see down here, we've I've put some new cabinetry in, and uh, for for the logs, so to hold the logs and the wood. Um, as you know, what I do, I, I tend to have a lot of off cuts, so they go in that wood burner, so that's fantastic, really. But anyway, this is the uh, color scheme we've gone for in the end, which is gray and white. There's a lovely, kind of really nice light gray, it's not too dark, it's not in, in your face. And we put my lovely images back up, which I took many moons ago now. Um, you know, and that's, that's my photography side of things. And uh, I don't know if we can see the image or not. Um, probably not, there's a lot of reflection on there. But uh, anyway, that's been hung up on the white wall, which actually looks quite nice there in the evening. And uh, we then purchased a lovely mirror for the fire fireplace, um, just to really finish it off and uh, give it that lovely feel and uh, almost looks like a show home now. <laughs> it's, it's incredible, it looks lovely and some lovely plantage. So we've got the skirting on at the bottom there on the uh, on the cabinetry and the skirting going all the way around the home. Yeah, it looks really good. We're really, really pleased with it. Uh, it's, it's turned out really well and we also had friends around as well helping us. So thank you very much, Matthew Wheeler. And thank you very much, my son also helping me, um, Tyler Robinson. So as you can see, all the ceilings plastered, um, everywhere's plasterboarded. Um, yes, one mention, I must mention um, uh, Ben. At, uh, I'll put the link down below anyway for Ben. Ben has been brilliant at, at uh, putting all this uh, plasterboarding on. Uh, all the way around this area here. He plasterboarded all the way around and done all the uh, dot and dab boarding for us. So that uh, that basically cleaned this whole area up. And then I added my six mil MDF to give it a panelled effect as well. So that's pretty cool. So that's that was that. So coming back out here uh, into the uh, into the conservatory as you can see all the walls looking very clean and tidy and very nice so we've got a little bit of work to do not much there's a little bit more to do out here we want to tie in a big worktop into the top of the kitchen also made a cabinet for the end there ready to receive its top and side panel and then we have a side panel at the end here as well to marry up with that panel in the kitchen and of course, from out here, we step and have a look at the old greenery everywhere. Beautiful. And there we have it. We've done a lot of work this year. A lot of work. Rectified the patio, done these raised beds, done a bar around the corner. And of course, done the uh, conservatory. And the conservatory, as you can see it, looks amazing. So really, really pleased with it really pleased and greenery you have to fight your way through the greenery now which is beautiful 
we love it love a bit of greenery so looking back on that there you go so yeah just to show you around the corner so this is what we've done all this year um, throughout the year since spring and there we have the bar we love that bar so that was built in four days literally that was an incredible build um, it has the roof tiles like felt tiles on the, on top of the roof which you can't see unfortunately but no what a great bar that is um, so we've had a few lovely meals out here with the fire on and uh, yeah it's been great looking fantastic and then heading back towards the house again we have the conservatory um, I have noticed <laughs> looks like a pigeons hit the window look can you see that let me get round I'm sure you can see that so we have a pigeon or something hit the window mad <laughs> but there you go but looking good eh guys well done and well done everyone that's helped me thank you very much much appreciated well done Matthew Wheeler you helped me a lot on this thank you very much um, and my son so yeah all good for the winter now so well chuffed well chuffed well that's the end of this project let's get on with the next one the next one is an L-shaped greenhouse.